out on the show floor in the middle of Raging E3, uh, we managed to catch up with Marianne Yo uh, from, uh, from Ubisoft together with uh, John Sebastian. Uh, and both of you guys work on the new driver game. It's been a while since we saw a driver game. Uh, how come it took so long? Well, uh, we had a lot of ambition for this game and we wanted to build our own technology in order to be able to realize that ambition as, as well as possible. So that, that's what took a long time. We wanted to be able to shift from one car to the next anywhere in the city at 60 frames a second without loading. 130 fully destroyable uh, ve licensed vehicles. So it took a long time for us to develop the technology. And I, I, we took a bit of time also on the design side. Yes, I think for Ubisoft and Reflection, it's all about quality. And if we wanted to uh, go, come back with driver, it has to be big, it has to be uh, innovating. That's why we took our time to find the nice new things that would bring the open world driving game in a, in a new place. Yeah, because a lot of things have happened since the last driver. What can you ask the lead game designer for the game? What have you? What are the new things that you have to take in consideration now when doing a new driver game? When you're doing a new driver game? Ah, there are plenty. First, there is the quality of the handling, which is key. How are you going to tackle the handling? Is it going to be simulation? Is it going to be arcadey? Or are you going to another direction? I think with Driver San Francisco, we're going back to what dri made Driver 1 ex extraordinary, which is this handling that is inspired by the classic movie car ch chases from the 70s. That's one thing. Then. One thing that is really important now is online. How are we going to tackle online? And our take on online is shift. You have this new mechanic that enables you to shift out from your car and jump from one to the other. And that's really helpful to create new, new games that you never played in, a, in an online driving game. So for instance, if after you have time, you should try the, um, the tag mode, which is like a cat and mouse game. And uh, it's really exciting. And uh, it brings the, the online driving jumps somewhere else. A lot of people have a lot of good memories. As you mentioned the first driver. Uh, I have had friends that I lost completely for, for weeks just playing driver. He was actually quite scary at the end of that. Uh, but what do you think makes, what makes a driver game special? Um, it's always been about the handling, really. Uh, that's what I remember about driver, uh, picking it up the first time, driver one. That's that visceral fun. And I really just don't feel like anything has, has come out that really had that great handling. But also, what differentiates Driver has always been that it has a really involving story. You're playing because it's fun, so you're getting this oh, one more mission thing because it's fun, but also because you want to know what happens next. So we really built a very involving story, a very complex story for this one as well. And I think that's key to Driver. What can you tell us about the story? Well, uh, Driver San Francisco takes place around six months after the events of Driver 3, where Tanner got shot in the back. Um, by his arch nemesis Charles Jericho and at the beginning of Driver San Francisco Jericho is about to face justice for that crime and of course uh, as he's been taken to the courtroom he escapes in this sort of spectacular way and in the process puts Tanner in a coma uh, Tanner from his coma dream uh, is in the hospital bed and he's hearing things from the TV and from his partner and he's piecing together knowing what he knows about Jericho what probably is happening and so uh, he's chasing Jericho in his dream but also uh, in, uh, influencing events in real life. It's a multi-layer story, a bit like uh, Inception, you see? That's why you, the, the real world impacts the coma world. And the goal to, from, for Tanner is to come back to, to, to the world of the living to stop Jericho for real. Driver 3, which was the last game in the series we saw, didn't really get that good a reception from, from critics and from, from fans of the series as well. Uh, what lessons did you learn from, from Driver 3 and what have you tried to really change when it comes to San Francisco? I think with Driver 3, uh, the brand got diluted with diluted by um, the on-foot sections and the guns and all these things. I think Driver is, was all about driving before and this is what we tried to bring back in this game. It's all about driving and you just shift from one car to the other and that's it. So you, you guys are taking that away, but EA is adding on-foot and Need for Speed the Run. What were your reactions when you saw that announcement? Um, we're very curious, obviously, uh, and FS is a, is a good series, and uh, we're, we're looking forward to seeing what, what they do with it, but um, it's just not really a, compar a direct comparison because Driver's never really been uh, anything but uh, the real driving. But it's quite exciting to see others trying new things too. I mean, it looks good. We hope, we hope it works out very well. All right, so just finally, sell San Driver San Francisco to me. 
give me something that that I, as someone who's never really gotten into the driver games, why should why should I care? Why should I play Driver San Francisco? Because it's the most frantic, action-packed driving game ever created. Because this, there is this awesome feature, which is shift, which enables you to jump from one car to the other, and because it's really good fun. Sounds good. Thank you very much for your time, guys. Thank you. Thank you.